This is Twit. Under the topic of here's one no one saw coming is the attack of the subtitles. Checkpoint Research that we talk about every so often because they're a great security research team um, did a blog posting a few days ago titled Hacked in Translation from Subtitles to Complete Takeover. And once again, as it's been a theme for this podcast for the last couple of years. Once we saw this sort of a, we were able to generalize a set of problems that kept recurring, and that is how difficult it is for interpreters not to have mistakes in them. Another interpreter is the processing of subtitle files for videos. Researchers at Checkpoint have discovered a new attack vector which threatens millions of users worldwide. Attack by subtitle. <laughs> by crafting malicious subtitle files, which are then downloaded by a victim's media player, attackers can take complete control over any type of device via vulnerabilities found in many popular streaming platforms. And they, they looked closely at some of the biggest ones. The biggest of all is VLC that I use and I imagine lots of our savvy uh, Windows and and I mean and Linux and Mac people. It's a multi-platform. You know, stands for Video LAN VLC. There's also Kodai uh, XBMC, uh, Popcorn Time, and uh, Streamio or Stream.io. Um, Checkpoint writes in their coverage of this that there are approximately 200 million video players and streamers that currently run the vulnerable software, making this one of the most widespread, easily accessed, and zero resistance vulnerabilities reported in recent years. They've tested and found multiple serious subtitle parsing vulnerabilities in every video player they've examined, um, starting with the four of the most prominent players that I mentioned. Uh, they said that they have reason to believe similar vulnerabilities exist in other media players. They did follow responsible disclosure practices and reported all vulnerabilities that they found and demonstrated exploits to the developers of the vulnerable media players. Some of the issues were already fixed at the time that they reported them, while others uh, uh, were then investigated and fixed. So, um, I'm so so VLAN is now at 2.2.6, and I just checked my version. I was at 2.2.4. So, uh, I and 170 million others are using uh, VLAN. So, if anyone's got it, you want to make you just want to make sure you're up to 2.2.6. So uh, it's been updated. Uh, uh, essentially, all four of them have. And I have the links to the latest versions in the show notes if anyone is interested. Or just, I'm sure you can launch the player and, and have it check for updates and, and update yourself. But this is a, an emerging threat vector. The problem is, you know, we're protecting ourselves by knowing this, but most of the world won't know about this. So hopefully these various things uh, have auto update, which is engaged and enabled and uh, and will will work to protect their users. I don't remember whether yeah, it auto updates. I, yeah. V VLAN does. OK, yeah. good. Um, I, I did fire yeah. at VLC. I, I, I tried um, uh, br br bringing it up and looked at the about um, I didn't check to see if it would update itself, or, and and maybe it's just taking some time it, to get around. It does it all the time, and it'll what it'll say is, uh, "I have an update. Do you want to update?" And you say, "Yes, good, please, good <laughs> now." But yeah, you might even want to manually do it if it doesn't offer you that. Yeah, I would say it's definitely worth doing. Yeah, it's interesting that all um, these players had this problem. So, is it must be a common DLL or something, right? Um, uh, in the case of v in case of VLC, it's a plugin. Um, yeah, and I can't remember what the name so the of it codec was. Codec or it's, 
uh, well, the you know the uh, the it, they may have used common code. So you're right. 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 Uh, what what's probably the case is there was you know a an open source pu- you know publicly available uh, uh, implementation, and they all grabbed that off of GitHub and then repackaged it for their own needs and and with hooks for their own particular um, player. And so as, as, a, as a consequence, there is some commonality there. Again, it's a, you know, it's an interpreter and it's just not hard to, uh, as we keep seeing, to find mistakes in, in interpreters because as always the case, as soon as they get it working, they're like, okay, it works. Uh, but, you know, you never think of it as a, an entry point, you know, as, as a threat vector foothold.